Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy step by step how to make these vintage seed beads and pearl earrings. They're easy to make and with my instructions I'm sure even if you are a beginner you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button because sometimes I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and in this way you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads. Here I use 8 mm pearls in this beautiful beige color or you could call it ivory color. These are ear wires in old gold color. Monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and pliers. And now I'm going to take about 3 feet of thread on my needle which is 90 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I want to take here is my pearl and I'm going through it like this, sliding it down. And now I'm holding here my tail thread with my thumb and what I want to take are 9 of these beautiful beads. Okay guys, and I have nine of this dark chameleon color, okay, and I'm going through my pearl, just like this, okay, now this is what I have, and I will flip my work, and I will repeat, take nine more, you see I'm holding my tail thread still. Here I also have 9 beads and what I do is that I go back here through my pearl one more time still holding my tail thread. If you don't hold your tail thread everything will be ruined, okay? So now what I do is that I go through all of those dark beads in my, in this direction, okay? going through all of them okay here i will stick my needle in my mat and i want to make a knot and i'm making it by taking my tail thread and going twice or three times through the loop i have here and pull and after that guys i will make one more knot and I like this surgeon's knot or also called half hitch knot because it's really secure. Now what I do is that I go through the center of my pearl and pull and my knot hides in it. Okay. Now guys, what I do is that I go one more time through all of those beads in this direction. And I'm adding here one bead. Of the whole of my pearl. And I add here one more bead at the other hole. Okay. Just like this. Now guys, in my next step, as I'm exiting through one of those beads, I'm going to take 12 of these beautiful beads. Okay, and here I have 12 beads. 
3 times 4 it's 12 and I'm going back through this same bit that I'm exiting out of. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step I'm going here through this bit in this direction through only the first bit here after uh, this bit that is in the center of my work one bit away from it and I'm taking three golden beads and I'm going in the same place one bit away from this bit here okay this is what I have exiting one bit away taking three beads and going one bead away okay now I have this then guys in my next step I want to go through three beads in this direction just like this and here I'm going to take two golden beads and I'm going back in circle through these two dark beads just like this Okay, and now guys I will go through the next two beads just like this and I'm going to repeat the same thing here I'm going to take 12 beads Okay, and I have my 12 here. And I'm going back in circle through this bit that I'm exiting out of. Okay, and I pull. Okay, now this is what I have. Now, guys, I'm going through this first bit of this row. I'm taking three golden beads okay and I'm going through this one here with these goldens and when I pull you see what I have I have this then I'm going through three beads in this direction Take two goldens and go back like this. Okay, then what I do is go through two beads in this direction and take twelve beads. Okay, I have my 12 here and I will go back through this one just like this go through one bit in this direction take three and go through this one here Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind the video, see how I'm doing it and finish your work and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. I'm here at my last step where I add my last two beads from this row. And what I want to do next is go in this direction through the following beads and exit in my next element and what I do is that I count four beads from this bottom bead here one two three four I'm through the first one so I'm going to the next three and you see where I'm exiting now here now what I want to take is one seed bead and go through this middle 
golden bead okay now i'm counting one two three four beads take one and after the fourth i'm going in this direction through those beads here okay then in my next step what I want to do is go through this golden and add just one dark bead, okay, like this. Then I'm going here in the same place, one bead after this bead that's in the middle ring. And it makes four beads, one, two, three, four beads from the center. I take just one golden, go here, take one more golden and count one, two, three, four beads and go through this one here. Okay. then go through the following two beads and exit here in this golden take just one dark bead go here and in this bead in this loop i meant okay okay guys and now i'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay, and this row is ready. In my next step, I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. You see here I'm two beads away from the center and I'm going to take one seed bead. Then I'm taking three more golden beads like this. And go back like this and then I take one more bead and you see here I'm two beads away from the center and I'm going through this bead okay now I have this now I go through all of those beads here in this direction while I'm two beads away from this bead here in the center. I'm going to take one golden bead, go through this one here, just like this, then take three goldens, okay, go back in circle through this one take one more golden and count one two beads away from the center and go through as many beads as you can in this direction okay now i have this and i'm going to repeat this guys two more times here and here if you forgot how i did it rewind the video and see how i'm doing this and this part and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you how to finish your work okay guys and here i am at my last step where i add 
my last seed bead from this row and I pull and now I'm almost ready with my work but you see how it bends to this side and I don't want this curve that is why I'm going to make an additional step of reinforcing and making my work stay nice and tight and in order to do this I will go here one more time around all of my beads in this row if you need use your pliers I don't think I will need my pliers but if there are some additional knots maybe you'll need them okay and now when I go through these beads the same way like I went through this one they will stay nice and tight in this direction I'll do this off camera and I'll be back okay guys and I'm here where I finish this row and now it's time to attach my ear wire and in order to attach it I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 beads from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 beads from here so this means that the next 2 beads here are my middle middle 2 beads of my work okay uh, because the number is even I have two middle beads okay now I'm taking uh, my ear wire one seed bead and then one more seed bead this is what I have and I'm going back through these two beads Okay, and after I reinforce this work here, I will go through some beads in this direction. And what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And in order to do this, I'm making here a loop. I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I pull then I might repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready I go through the following seed bead after my knot I cut my thread you could use zippers if you want to burn your thread and now my earring is ready okay guys and now my vintage seed beads and pearl earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials Materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.